So we're about to tour a 800 year old barn that's ready for restoration in a small town here in Tuscany. Now, when I say it's ready for restoration, I mean it needs a lot of restoration, but it's over 6,000 square feet. So the first thing that has to be done is there needs to be a staircase put back in. You can kind of see the outline on the wall there. It looks almost like a crack going up and it goes up to that door. That would be the main entrance. And this part faces out over an English garden with gigantic oak trees and perfectly hidden behind that bush is a beautiful platform that you can go up on and see the view. And hopefully we'll get up there in a minute. But I'm gonna let this property speak for itself and just take you guys through the whole thing because it's gigantic and I hope you love it. Now we're going to be going back into some of the rooms. Now, needless to say, this is a very large remodel job. But there's a lovely English garden, big trees, and that's actually a building that has a terrace on top that you can, oops, sorry, one handed that you can sit on top of and have a view of the entire valley. But you can see the condition of everything. It's been many, 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 many years since this place was worked on. And there's room after room. Another view of the garden. It just needs a great haircut. If it were me, I'd redo the roof and I'd pull out all this thatched, it almost looks like lathe and plaster roofing. So when people say they want to renovate a farmhouse, this is what they're getting into. And I won't even walk on the floor over there because you might suddenly be in the cellar.
So that's just the first floor. Let's move on. So this is inside the English garden, which obviously needs to be brought back to life, literally and figuratively. And inside there's this little house. And this leads up to a platform. Let's see if we can get up there. Oh, that's a good sign. Oh, look at the gecko. Hey, Mr. Gecko. Yeah, bye, Mr. Gecko. not from yesterday. Please don't collapse. Just kidding. Yeah. It's 
just too bad these places never come with a view, right? So this is included. Wow. I know I always say wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow, wow. There is Montepulciano. Hey guys, wow. It's a warm day here without much wind. It really makes a difference. So I always like to do a little recap and I wanted to see what did you guys think of that place? I think it's big and it's beautiful and there's nothing wrong with big and beautiful. I think you'd have to really put on your thinking hat to see how you're gonna use it. For me, the lack of natural light is one thing uh, and you're probably looking at hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars to make it livable. Uh, but when you did have it done, you'd have an incredible, unduplicatable property to live in. Now, this village is pretty quiet, so I don't know about trying to rent it uh, for big families because it would have to be for big families. But I think if you wanted a family home that was very unique, this might be the place to do it. So I hope you liked it. As always, subscribe, please. And if you have any questions, you can always write me at bradsworld8 at gmail.com. We'll talk to you guys soon.